a perfect animal in the wind racing on to glory. Horses shod with lightning are tradition in the Virginias. The love of George Washington who raced his chestnut Magnolia in Alexandria, Virginia. First in the hearts of his countrymen, he was not first in a race with Magnolia. One lost bet entered into his wagering records. He also loved the horses at his brother Charles's home in his town, Charlestown. Anglican and Catholic church leaders in Maryland and Virginia saw all this passionate love of the sport as unavoidable as the rampant honeysuckle. And they were always laying down bets over ale at Captain Cherry's Tavern. The captain's newspaper ads would read, At Charlestown, to be run over the course near this place on Tuesday, the 9th of May next, agreeable to the rules of the Frederick County Jockey Club for a purse of 40 pounds. With prohibition lifted and a new mood in the land, Maryland's racing men worked with Charlestown's horse show directors, like Senator Milton Rouse, T.T. Perry, and horseman Greg Johnson to legalize horse race betting in the state. Promising a new source of revenue for the hard-pressed state, it passed. Lawmakers just hoped the Charlestown racetrack wouldn't give the state as bad a name as its many moonshiners had. State Agriculture Commissioner J.B. McLaughlin ordered clean races, paramutual betting that's hard to rig, the best manager anywhere to cover the paramutual bet taking, and some of the best stewards from out of Maryland. Chief developer Joe Boyle and his partner Thomas K. Lynch saw that the well-drained clay slope track could be maintained for winter racing. He bought the land. In just 60 days, the grandstand, 12 stables, and barn were standing and ready. 4,000 fashionable fans turned out on opening day, wagering some $44,000 on seven races. Two days later, a record $590 was paid per dollar of betting. But laying off townspeople right after Christmas Day set some people against Joe Boyle. The season was only 20 racing days long. A.J. Boyle, who built the track so well, carried on the dream, taking over the track from his brother and promptly setting up an emergency fund to help any employees or jockeys down on hard times. The track took in only $36,000 each of those first days, just shy of breaking even. A.J. Boyle was going to make Charlestown the only place for winter racing this side of Florida or California. Not just a success, but a smash. No ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> 